What's up guys? Iceman here. So if you think all the character models for Diablo 2 Resurrected should be brought back to the drawing board, and if you think all the bitches in Diablo 2 Resurrected should be made sexy as fuck, give me a hell yeah in the comments below. So in this video, I wanted to just lightly touch on a few things, okay? First off, overall, I want to let you dogs know, I'm actually uh, kind of optimistic for Diablo 2 Resurrected, okay? You see, one of its redeeming factors, and this is big, and I didn't see this coming, man. I didn't even think of this shit. Is the fact that they actually have the original game running under it. Because I was worried it was going to feel different. <clears throat> because Diablo 2 is made on some grid system. You know what I'm saying? With all these old school checks and balances and shit. All the little mechanics and on the 25 frames per second or whatnot. So I was like, this game isn't going to feel like Diablo 2 because it's not going to be Diablo 2. But it sounds to me that they just made a new skin for it and put it over the old fucking game. Which is why you can actually switch back to legacy mode seamlessly. Right? When you're playing? I don't know how they made it work with the widescreen. Because all the animals and creatures and enemies and monsters, they have their own little AI and alert radius and things like that. So how the fuck are you not just going to see a big pack standing there on the side of the screen? I don't really know. And apparently you can switch back to legacy mode, so... I don't know how that's going to all work out, man, but... I think it looks pretty good. In some ways. Obviously the character models need to be reworked, okay? And the sorceress, I mean, y'all keep excusing her, but she's ugly as fuck. The new version is ugly as fuck. God damn! If you give them an inch, you're gonna take a mile, dog. I mean, they're just, you know, they have to refine the face. They have to thin the bitch out a little bit. They gotta shorten that skirt. There's something fucked up about her legs. They're too big. It looks like she has a pineapple stuffed up her quat when she's running. You know, just little things like that. All right, and I'm not really going to touch on the other characters because this this video isn't about the character models. Here's another good thing that they did. This is toad as fuck. I remember when I was a little duck playing Diablo 2, and I would put those items on my characters that I'd find: howl tusk, an archon plate. I'd put. A, uh, a great pole axe on my character. I'd put worm skull helm on the character. Vampire gaze. Storm shield. Which had its own unique look. I always imagine how awesome it would be if these parts in my inventory, the item graphics, matched what they look like in your inventory on your character when you put them on your character. Because as many of you know, like there's just a, a set image for like a great helm and there's a set image for a grim helm or bone helm uh, nightmare uh, exceptional normal and elite they all look the same the only thing that would change with like unique items or even uh, some rears on your character visual would be the coloration of it but no they took it a step further man in Diablo 2 resurrected now, as far as I can tell, like all the items have their unique look that matches on your character. And I think that's toad as fuck. I'm very pleased that they did that. <clears throat> so that, that's a big bonus. Just imagine up some of the, uh, the cool looking items in Diablo 2 that are now going to match what they look like in your inventory on your character. Let me know in the comments below uh, what items you guys think are going to look the most toad. So that's a great addition, and I don't know if that even crossed my mind in the times I've been thinking about this whole Diablo 2 
supposed remaster that's in the works because that's just long gone man I, I just remember when I was a duck playing the game uh, I just thought about how awesome it would be if they did that but I thought it was just maybe too much of a stretch in terms of uh, memory and stuff like that back then so they did that right and running it on the base game they did that right those are two big things man so let me know in the comments below what you guys think about that I guess I will go back to the character models because I wanted to show you guys this visual of the Amazon. Look at this. And it's in the video thumbnail. Yeah, look at the bitch on, the, uh, on your right. <clears throat> Alright. The one on the left is of course the one that they used. But what do you guys think about that? I think that's what they should do. Make her just like that. I mean, you might as well take it a stop, a, a step further, man. Make her hot as fuck. I mean, if you got to go back anyway, make her hot as fuck. And the same thing for the assassin and the sorceress. And why does the paladin have an afro? He didn't have an afro in the original. He looks a little different, okay? Just go back to the original artwork and don't alter it, but just refine it a little bit. That's all he's really asking, right? But yeah, I don't mind that Amazon model that I uh, just showed you guys right there. There's a shared stash, so that's big. And here's another really big thing. Let the modders get their paws on it. I would love to see a Path of Diablo resurrected and a Project Diablo 2 resurrected with all the new graphical enhancements and the shared stash and the items looking as they do in your inventory on your character. I would love to see that shit, man. So let me know in the comments below if you guys are with me on that. And you know what? I ain't gonna lie. I'm a little optimistic, okay? I think they're gonna change these character models. Rumor has it that Blizzard made claim that they are listening to our criticisms regarding such things, okay? So, yeah, it was funny for a minute. All these characters are ugly as fuck. And maybe they just wanted to see what we'd say or what we'd do, but yeah, it was funny for a minute, okay? And here's what I would propose Perhaps. I really don't give a fuck if they keep the current models that they made, but they also make it a selectable option for us to choose a model that's actually based on the original character models, okay? So I could have my Amazon who looks pretty fucking good, and you could have your ugly as fuck Amazon, and I think it actually might add something to the entertainment. Because once in a while you'll see an ugly as fuck Amazon run around, you'd be like, oh, I'm glad I didn't pick that, pick that character, but hell, you know what? It adds some to the variety in terms of visuals. So I don't give a fuck if they even keep those models, but give us a selectable version that stays true to the original art, okay? But yeah, there's other things I think that I might find appealing to Diablo 2 Resurrected. I think some of the, the fire effects, the lightning effects, the poison effects, you know, they look pretty damn good. There's some revisions that I think should be made on some of the skills. Like people are talking about the bone spear, how it just looks like a, uh, just a, a thin line now, and the old one looked better. Things like that. You know, maybe the poison nova needs some rework. I don't know. I thought the frozen orb or the assassin's frozen orb skill she gets from Phoenix Strike or whatnot. I thought that looked pretty cool. But yeah, let me know in the comments below. What do you guys like about Diablo 2 Resurrected so far? And what do you dislike about it? I am the Ice Boy. More videos to come. Peace be with you.